You want to solve puzzles that have only one solution. I will show you how you must accept that in order to solve the green cell and the rest of this Sudoku. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. There's a bunch of things going on in these middle three columns here. You notice how you have a one, two, three right here. Then you have a four, six, and an eight in column six. So the four, six, and eight cannot be in these spots. They have to be in these three spots right here. So this is a hidden triple. And I can mark that. And we can take away the six from right there. We can take away the eight from right there. We can take away the four from right there. Likewise, you see how there's a five, seven, nine in column four, and they're not in the block here. So the five, seven, nine are limited to these three spots. So you got a five, seven, nine right there. We already have a nine in the row, seven in this row, and a five in this row. And we're not done. You notice how you have a four, five, and six up here in block two. So they can't be in these three spots. They can't be in these three spots. So the four, five, and six have to be right here. Since we have a four and a six in row eight, this has to be a five. And now this is going to be your four and your six. Likewise, with this seven, eight, nine, can't be in these three cells. It has to be in these three cells to fit in block five. So we can put seven, eight, nine right there. Now we can do a little bit more solving here. We notice in this column, you have the four, six, eight there, the five, seven, nine. We need a one, two, or three to finish the column. Well, I have a one and two right there, so this has got to be a three. And so the only thing that's left up in block two now is a one and a two. All right, then you come down, one, two here, have a one, two right there, and then you'll notice with the one, two, you got a one, two, three to finish column six. Greetings, friend. If you're new to Smart Hobbies, subscribe. Tap the bell for notifications. If you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. Let's find some more restrictions in this puzzle. Look up here in block two. Because the one, two is a naked pair, they also act as a pointing pair. So the ones cannot be anywhere else along row one. And with this one, that means the ones can't be in these three spots. They have to be in one of these two spots. And so what I'm going to do is call Snyder Notation anytime a three by three block. You have two possibilities for a candidate. You mark it. In case you solve one of these cells, we can solve the other right away. It's showing us where there are some restrictions in this puzzle. Likewise, with these two ones and this one, we can put Snyder ones right there. Look at the twos, the same thing. The twos are a pointing pair right here. So we can't put a two in any of these three spots. If you put a two here, you have no place to put a two in block two. And you go with this two, we have two possibilities for two in row three. So the green cell, it could possibly be a two. We will see if it is. All right, let's look at the threes. You have these two threes here and this three. So we'll put Snyder threes up in block three. And then we'll look down here. There's only two possibilities for three. So actually we'll mark that in block eight as well. And then you might think we can't do anything else to this puzzle, but actually we can. You look right in this spot. You may notice you have a one, three, seven, eight, all in the row. Then you have four different digits in this column, a two, four, five, and six, all look at this cell. Whenever you have eight different digits looking at one cell, you know you can solve that cell because there's only one possibility left. This can only be a nine. That's the only digit that satisfies that area. And then with these two, this nine and this nine and a nine here in the row, we have two possibilities for a nine. And that's as far as we can get with normal standard notation and Snyder notation. Click on the pinned comment to join the Smarty Party. You can get exclusive reward puzzle packs and content you're not going to find on my main channel. You become a super Smarty and I'll put your name in every video. So now that we're as far as we can go and we haven't really crack this puzzle open. We haven't figured out this green cell. Now we have to use knowledge we may not want to normally use. And I told you that you should consider that the Sudoku has a unique solution. And we want, you want your mind to accept that. Just think if you're in a tournament and you were working on the Sudoku and you saw it put in one solution, you saw someone else put in another solution, you wouldn't think that was fair. Uh, they cannot both be accepted. You have to have one unique solution. Likewise, the center puts his or her intended solve path into the puzzle. 
and they want to give you that sense of accomplishment for you to get the correct solve path. Well, Sam Kaplan Lines, and I thank you, Sam, for letting me feature this on my channel, put this in the Sudoku Dark Arts Puzzle Pack. And one of the requirements, and they tell you, the solver, is that each puzzle has a unique solution. So we're going to bank on that, use that knowledge, get that sense of satisfaction that this puzzle can only be solved one way. And what we want to do is focus on these four cells. You look at these four cells, and you notice you have a 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and a 1, 2, 3, an extra digit here. So if we solve this cell for a 1, that forces a 2 here, a 1 here, and a 2 there. Okay? But if we put a 2 here, forces a 1 there, a 2 there, and a 1 there. And so what we have is called this deadly pattern, where the 1s and 2s are interchangeable. It creates two solutions to the puzzle. Well, we know that this puzzle cannot have two solutions. And most of the Sudokus, almost all the Sudokus, you will run into have a unique solution. You do want to verify that because it doesn't come in normal Sudoku rules. However, if you solve a puzzle and realize it has more than one solution and you weren't expecting it, tell me how you feel. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I go a little crazy about it. I want unique solution puzzles to know that I solved it the right way. So what I just showed you here is that the only digit we can put in this cell that makes sense and gives this puzzle a unique solution is a three. And what you just saw here is called a unique rectangle type one. Learn more about this strategy in this tutorial. Now, we can use this knowledge to clean up this puzzle a little bit. Let's get rid of the colors and let's see if we can solve some more threes. Okay, you have these two threes and this three you can solve for three right there. With these two threes, you can solve for three here. With these two threes and this three, we can solve for three here. Displacing that Snyder three, solving for three here. And we have solved all of the threes in the puzzle. And now let's look down this column. We have six digits filled in two, three, four, five, six, and a nine. We need a one, seven, eight. We have a naked single one right there because that's the only digit that satisfies this cell. And we remove the one from there and solve this for a one. And that's going to give us a seven, eight naked pair. And now we can solve our green cell. Because what you might notice is you have a seven, eight in these two cells in row three. So this is a naked pair. The seven, eight have to be in these two cells because nothing else can be in there. So that means these cells cannot contain our seven or an eight. They got to be either a two or a four but we know there's a four right here so this cell has to be your two and this cell has to be your four you find value in what i'm showing you consider buying me a coffee or just click on the super thanks in youtube i'd really appreciate it now we've gotten this far where we go from here there's still so much to fill out let's look at what these fours can do for us now with this four and this four and the four here we can solve for four in block seven, which we can disambiguate the six and the four in block eight. Let's go to row seven now. What do we have here? It looks like we need a two, five, and six. Well, I got these two sixes here. It means the six has to go right there. I have the two right there. So that's your two and that's your five. All right, let's go to block seven now. Let's finish this out. What do we have? Looks like we need a seven, eight, or a nine. Well, the nines are in those two spots. I mean, this has to be your nine and then the seven right there means this has to be your seven and this is going to be your eight we have a full house going up column two only one possibility left and it's going to be an eight okay so we can get rid of the eight right there and we're making progress in this puzzle what else can we do with the eights well this eight and this eight and this eight all right we can look down here and go can this be an eight well with the seven it has to be an eight right and now with these two eights and this eight, we can solve for an eight right here, which allows us to solve this cell for the eight and that for the seven to finish column eight. Let's see if we can get the rest of these eights. Well, I have these two ones right there, so that can't be a one anymore. This has to be your one. And now with the two eights and this eight, we can solve an eight right there. Only place left for an eight in block five is right there. And disambiguating these three cells, right? Because we know this is your four 
and that's going to be your six now all right and then if we cut across row five what do we need here it looks like we need a four five and a nine well with these two fours the only place left for four is right there displacing that snyder nine and now we need a five and a nine i got my nine right there so the nine has to go here this has to be your five and now we can disambiguate the seven and the five in block five all this neat stuff that sam set up we can start solving now okay and then what do we need over here it looks like a two and a six i got my six right there i'm going to pull it over from block six so there's your six and there's your two and with these twos that's got to be your two and the only digit left over here is a seven awesome and then these two sevens and this seven i'm going to switch to cross hatching and see if i can quickly solve cells that way and i sure can all right and then what we're looking here to finish column seven is a two and a five i got my two right here so this has got to be your five and that's got to be your two now we're going to be able to disambiguate all these ones and twos that we saw earlier in the puzzle awesome all right, we have two possibilities left. I see two ones, always easier to cross hatch. So put the ones there, gotta put the five right there. And then we look right here and we need a four and a six. I see my four. I'm gonna pull over from block two. Solve that for six. All righty. And then with these two sixes and this six, I'm gonna solve for six right here. And then the fact I know that this is a seven means I'm gonna be able to solve the seven right here because this can only be a seven or a nine and so that means the seven puts the nine right here the seven right there and the nine right there i solve those cells using what i call my right angle trick and so we have two possibilities left the seven still has to go someplace in block one so there's your seven and the last digit is a five watch this video to apply uniqueness to a different puzzle guilt free thank you so much for watching